welcome. This is Sister Carlene, and it's my delight to be with you for Children's Church today. And we're going to think about uh, a message that Jesus passed on to his apostles. And one of the things that he was telling us, telling his apostles was, oh, do you know what he said to his apostles? He said, I'm leaving you. And where I'm going, you know not the way. But I will show you the way. Now, that's a that's kind of if if your mother and dad said we're we're going on a vacation trip and I think we'll go to Ireland. You'd say, What? I don't know how far is Ireland from Paola, Kansas. Well, you're gonna say something like, Well, Jesus says not to worry. If you follow what I tell you, you too will find your way to heaven. He said, I'm going to my father's house. Well, now the apostles are saying, well, if, if he's going to his father's house, can't we go to visit with his father too? No, he says, I'm going to my father's house. He meant to stay. Wow. So today's gospel is from John 25, and, and he's saying to his apostles, I want you to know the way. So on your take-home paper, look at this. If I said, do you want to come over to my house today? And you might say, yes, I'd, I'd love to come to your house, but how do I get there? And he said, well, I'll draw you a map, kind of. I'll show you this is the road, and this is how you can get there. But along the road, there are some signs, and you've got to follow the one that will take you to your father's house. Now, if somebody says to me, I know that when I was baptized, that the love and the life of God lived continues to live in me. And he said, when you die, I will take you to my father's house. Oh, the top of my paper says, follow the way to heaven. That's my father's house. Well, do you know how we would get to heaven? Well, I know what makes mothers and dads happy. Like if they say, it's time to eat, come to the table now. But you're watching TV, you've got your hand on the computer, and you're going to shake your head and say, no? Mm, that's not going to work. God said, I'm going to give you some rules, and if you obey my rules, there are ten commandments. One says, I am the Lord your God. Don't have any false gods like, mm, I love ice cream. I think I'll make ice cream a god. No, that's not going to work. I am the Lord your God. Come follow me. And the second commandment says, my name is holy. Don't, don't use God's name when you really want to be mad at somebody. Oh, you could say fiddlesticks. You don't have to say, Jesus Christ, I'm mad at you. No, nope, that's not what the second commandment is all about. Do not use Jesus' name the wrong way. The third commandment says, I want you to go to church on Sunday. If you don't pray, how will you know how much God knows how much you love him? So I go to church to let God know how much I love him. The fourth commandment says, whatever your mothers and dads tell you to do, Obey your mothers and dads. When you obey them, you obey my commandments. Okay, now you got a couple of them, right? We talked about four. The fifth commandment says, don't kill. Well, I'm not going to kill anybody. Well, if I punch them in the nose, if I knock them down and break their leg, that's all going to hurt, isn't it? God does not want us to do that. Fifth commandment says, be kind to one another. Help one another. The Sixth Commandment says, respect and love every part of your body. 
respect and keep it holy. The seventh commandment says don't steal. Mm -mm. Stealing isn't going to get you to the way to heaven. The eighth commandment says don't tell lies either. If, 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 if somebody says, I didn't do it, and, and somebody blames it on you, and you didn't do it, well, you don't want to tell lies. You always want to tell the truth. You always fess up and say, sorry, Mom, I think I knocked the milk over, and I broke the glass, and I, I'll, I'll clean it up. The ninth commandment says, respect and honor the, those things that belong to your neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. because she belongs to him. So you can't cover or wish or help for. Those are the things. And the ten Tenth Commandment says, always respect and honor those who love you the most. So we have ten. Now, I don't know if I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, these are not the Ten Commandments that I just gave you. But Jesus said to his apostles, follow me, which meant listen to my word and always do what is right. Moms and dads love it when you come when they call you, when you tell the truth, when you play nice with your brothers and sisters, and when, well, all of those things, the Ten Commandments, and Jesus is asking us to do that. Now, along this way, to heaven and how we think that God will reward us is because he says, I, I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss any of those good things that you said you were going to do. And so, I don't know if you can see, but down here are your feet. When we were born, we sing a little song and we say, Put your feet upon the way to him. Put your feet upon the way. Come along with me to Jesus. Come along with me. You will find a joy that never ends. Joy that never ends. So today, we find our feet on the way to him. And along the way, there are, well, remember if I said to you, do you want to come to my home? I live in Pennsylvania. I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and that's my home. Do you want to come home? You say, I don't know how to get to Pennsylvania. Well, they'll say, can I do it without a map? No, Jesus is going to say, just follow me. I will lead you where you need to go. And along the way, there's a beautiful signpost that says, love one another. You know what the lo opposite of love? Hate to tell you, hate to tell you. The other word is hate or greed. Ooh, don't want those words, but love, yes. I'm pretty good at loving. And then as we go a little further, we get to maybe second grade, third grade. We're following, and our feet are along the way to him. And then we come upon the next one that says kindness. Has every, I bet you won't forget somebody that did something kind to you. You'll never forget it. Maybe it was just that they smiled at you when you were coming down the hall, and that made you feel good. Maybe they said out on the playground, would you play with us today? Oh, that made me feel good too. That's a kindness that we show to one another. And then we keep on going. We're following the way to him. And then the next one says, more than anything, I'd want to know how to forgive if somebody hurts me. And this word says forgiveness. Jesus says, Always forgive. Don't hold a grudge. Don't be mad at anybody. Always forgive. And then the next one says, I'm caring and I'm sharing along the way. And all of this leads me to the way to heaven. So let's go to the, today's gospel. And we're going to say, well, this is the way to him. Oh, I meant to tell you that if, if I asked you to go to Pennsylvania and say, but I don't have a compass. I just happened to find a compass, and part of the compass has a bright red arrow. And the arrow is pointing maybe to north, or south, or east, or west. I would have to turn this arrow to east if I wanted to go to Pennsylvania. 
and you'd say, okay, I go out the door, I'm going to head east, and I will be on the raid. Now, for heaven, God's going to say, just be kind to one another, love one another, share what you have, and always forgive. And so when you get your paper, and you'll, you'll see it's on uh, MCTV Live, and on that, dot com, and you'll see a picture of, that looks exactly like this way to heaven. And the little way to heaven is what Jesus was teaching his apostles. And he was saying to them, follow me, and I will show you the way to heaven. And then Jesus said something remarkable. You know what he said to his apostles along the way? And you're looking at the map, and you're looking at Jesus. This is the most beautiful message for today, because Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Follow me. Well, I know how to follow Jesus because he left his Father in heaven to come down here on earth to show us the way to get back to his Father's home in heaven. And that's what the whole Gospel of John is all about. Jesus was saying to his apostles, follow me and I will lead you to my Father's home in heaven. And so when I'm thinking Jesus said he is the way, what did he mean by that? Well, he said, whatever words I share with you, and you're a good listener, and it said something like to his apostles, don't return meanness with meanness. Whatever you do, you're going to want to follow me just because somebody punches you, am I supposed to punch him back? No. Jesus said, that's not in the Ten Commandments. And so we're on this little journey. We have the map, and we're going to set off together. And we're going to think to ourselves, if Jesus said, do not be afraid, don't be worried, <laughs> trust in me, and trust in God. In my Father's house, there are many rooms. Oh, this is wonderful part. Jesus is saying goodbye to his apostles. He says, I'm going to my Father's house. There are many rooms, and I'm going to prepare a room for you. <laughs> Just follow my commandments. Do the best that you can do, and I am going to prepare a place for you. And then I'm going to come back. I'll take you by the hand. And he'll say, come on, we're going to my father's house. Well, Thomas was saying, hey, Lord, I know, I know you said come follow me. You already know the way to get to the father's house, but Lord, how will I know? How will I know where you are going? Well, Jesus answered and he said, well, just say, remember, Whatever I told you was the truth, and wherever I told you was the way, and then he said, I am your life. Jesus said, I am the way, I speak the truth, and I give you God's love and God's life. And he said, I will always be with you. And he says, through me, you will know how to get to my Father's house. And so, we could say a little prayer and we could say, well, when we were born, we know that our feet were put upon the way. And we knew that if I followed love and kindness and sharing, that God says, that's all. That's all I'm asking. And then when you die, and my father says, come home. Come to my home and come be with me. So if we'll say a little prayer right now, might want to close your eyes as we say, Teach me your ways, O Lord. Make them known to me. Teach me to walk in your truth. For you are my Savior. And I can always place my trust in you. He shows me that there is a humble way to get to my Father's house. And with loyalty and love, 
Jesus leads all those who obey his Ten Commandments. Amen. I thank you for being with me today for Children's Church. Don't forget, you'll find the path also. And look, and maybe you could put your name on those feet as you too will say, come along with me to Jesus. We will find a joy that never ends. Thank you for being with me today for Children's Church. Amen. Children, it was wonderful being with you today. And just as a little reminder, I want you to remember that you can find your take-home paper, not only today about put your feet upon the way to him, but also all the other stories. We had the Good Shepherd and we had some lovely stories. And you say, well, I missed that one. You just go into MC tvlive.com and you look at well what story did I miss you click on it run off your own copy and color it and and I'd love to have I love to see colored pictures and when you can share them with others it's wonderful you too will remember come along the way follow Jesus amen <music>